Welcome aboard cruisers and thank you for joining our last daily cruise news updates of the week. Four stories to complete things off including Carnival Cruise Line cracks down on unauthorised activity. Royal Caribbean extends cancellations for private destination. Carnival clarifies cash use and big MSE Cruises news. So join us as we delve fully into all these stories brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. In anticipation of the 2025 summer season, MSE Cruises is expanding its presence in the United States. Four MSE ships will home port in the US, with MSE World America launching from Miami in Florida, the world's largest cruise terminal, in April 2025. This expansion, including investments totaling $350 million, aims to accommodate 36,000 passengers daily. The MSC World America will offer alternating seven-night Eastern and Western Caribbean voyages, alongside MSC Seascapes 3, 4 and 7-night itineraries from Port Miami. MSC Merivilla and MSC Seashore will also set sail from New York City and Port Canaveral respectively, offering diverse routes to Bermuda, Florida and the Bahamas. Carnival Cruise Line has clarified its stance on cash usage on board amid rumours suggesting a shift in policy from 2025. Contrary to social media speculation, the cruise line reaffirms that guests can still use cash to set up sailor and sign accounts. However, onboard retail outlets remain cashless. Carnival advises guests to visit guest services to deposit cash for expenses with minimum deposits of $100 to $350 depending on the cruise duration. Cash is also accepted for gratuities and in the ship's casino. Royal Caribbean extends its suspension of sailings to Labadee in Haiti through May 2024 due to ongoing political tensions and security concerns following armed attacks. Originally suspended in mid-March, the extension affects various ship arrivals scheduled for May, prompting Royal Caribbean to consider alternative destination or sea days for affected voyages. The decision prioritises passenger safety amidst Haiti's political crisis, with Labidi's closure reflecting Royal Caribbean's commitment to ensuring guest well-being. As the situation evolves, Royal Caribbean continues to monitor developments alongside its global security and intelligence team. Carnival Cruise Line has enforced its policy against unauthorised gambling, recently halting a game on the Lido deck of Carnival Luminosa. Led by a guest, the game involved betting on left, centre, right, despite not being a casino activity. Brand ambassador John Heal clarified that such gambling outside the casino is strictly forbidden aboard Carnival ships. The incident occurred during the ship's 30-night repositioning cruise from Brisbane in Australia to Seattle, where it will be home ported for the Alaska sailing season. Despite debates, the exchange of money in such contexts qualifies as gambling, leading to Carnival's intervention. And that's it for me today, cruisers. My name is Paul and all the news you require is over on cruisehive.com. Now, if anyone has any news, you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Please show your support by liking our video and please subscribing to our channel. I hope you have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.